Well, this is Lucy's and Simon's diaries, my LSD diaries. But on location today, we're out to release some seagulls. I'm going to stop you there. Animals. You just made a really big error. Did I? Did you I make did. A, what error did I make? He said seagulls. There's no such thing as a seagull. They're gulls. Gulls. Then. Okay. So what did I do when I was in Australia? I kept calling them koala bears. I got so How much did flat you that? Because you think of when you're, when you're a child, it's a koala bear. But because it's not oh, a I bear see. at all. I thought you were talking about gulls still. Sorry. I was Sorry. like, no, no, why would you call a gull a koala? No, I didn't do that at all. But no, the release is always the best bit for us, isn't it? It's fantastic. You can work with something for a day. You can work with it for six weeks. But actually to release it is the most fantastic feeling. It's really cool actually. Every time I've done a gull release they do the same thing. They potter about a bit and they wait for each other. It's always a lot of fun. So it's one of my favourite species to release. It's a lot of fun. What? Seagulls? Seagulls. Seagulls. Gulls. But no, they're, they're gulls. land gulls but actually just gulls. Gulls. So Lucy, they're ready to go. What was actually the matter? Why did they come in in the first place? Well, over the period of about two weeks, we had all of them came in individually. They all had symptoms of botulism, where they've been eating really filthy water and dabbling about and getting very sick. So all five of them have been on drips for at least three days. They've had antibiotics, vitamins, and then we've gradually started the food. And we have really good success rates with this. We haven't lost one at all. Right, let's let them go. OK. <laughs> OK, Lucy, so what happens now? Do they just sort of potter for a while? Yeah, they just potter about. They do a kind of weird bouncing thing where they're just sort of jumping up and flapping their wings like they're getting ready to go. But the reason I love it is they always take ages to go. They're walking around and they'll pick up things and mess about and eat little bits and pieces and then they all go together. He's got a stick, look. <laughs> there we go, one. Now, this is what happens is that he'll wait for the others and he often call them and they see that he's going. Here we go, two. But they actually wait for each other, it's so cute. seagulls isn't it? It's my favourite release I don't know why I love it so much they it's the way they go when they're ready they're like no I'm gonna potter about and then they're just like they all wait for each other do you see him he comes back and he's like come on but they're still up there circling around it just shows you though because none of them came in together they all came in separately from different areas but they've all bonded and that's they're a lovely social bird that's they, they've all stayed together and it's just lovely. These guys have gone they must have cost us Quite a lot of money while they were Don't here. Don't want to even think about it. A lot of fresh money. fish, a lot of fresh fish, and a lot of work, a lot of cleaning out from the volunteers. So, if you like it, please just text us a quid. It would really help. Um, probably one of the shortest diaries we've ever done, Luke. <laughs> it might what, not be. What will Andy do for the rest of the week? <laughs> so it's the normal. I can't do my normal trick, can I? Now I can't disappear out of sight. Go so on, try it. All I'm going to do is go. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you next week. In this episode of Wildlife SOS, we get our first badger cub of the season. He is absolutely gorgeous. And a deer slips through the net. Stand still, everybody. 